Iowa is touted as one of the lowest cost of living states in the United States. And it's true. How could you afford not to move to Iowa? First and foremost is the cost of housing in Iowa. Iowa has the luxury of actually being number two for the most income to household price. You know, stating that the household median income in the state of Iowa is around $85,000 and the average cost of a home in Iowa is around $200,000. So that ratio between the household income and the cost of a home is phenomenal when it comes to Iowa. And it drives a lot of people wanting to move here because the jobs are paying well and they can afford a really nice home at $200,000. So it's a great combination. And on top of that, a lot of investors give me a call because they are seeing the low prices of homes here in the state of Iowa as well. So they are really wanting to invest in the state so that they can get a piece of that pie as well. Another huge thing that comes into play if you're moving to Iowa for that cost of living is our food cost. We have generally barely low food cost, and a big reason is because we grow most of our ourselves. You know, in fact, I'm an avid gardener myself, and I love to grow the fruits and veggies that I can here in the state of Iowa. I think I have about, I don't know, 10 different varieties of tomatoes, five or six different varieties of peppers. I grow corn, I grow eggplant, I grow long beans of all things. So I grow a ton of that. But even if I didn't, and sometimes I do this anyway, I can go to the local farmer's market, pick up some cheaper produce there, and it's all freshly grown here in the state. So that keeps our cost down fairly low. And on a big scale, we grow a lot of the corn and soybeans that is put into our food everywhere. So just because we have a lot of that production here in ag agriculture means that our food costs are generally a little bit lower so we can save on transportation all the way across the country. So it's a big deal that the food costs are lower here. It's just a really cool thing to see here in the state of Iowa. And it does contribute to that low cost of living. Now these are the details that people give me a call about. So if you have questions, I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Iowa. So give me a call, send me a text. I am the one that answers all of those. So make sure you reach out to me if you have any specific questions about what it's like living here in the state. I mentioned at the very beginning that we have a great income to household price ratio, but I didn't talk specifically about the jobs that you can actually get here. Yes, the average household income here in the state of Iowa is around $85,000. So what kind of jobs are getting those types of you know, income? Well, yes, we have agriculture. It's a big deal here in the state of Iowa. You can be a farmer, you can be a rancher, you can be anything to do with agriculture but it's not your only choice. We have also tech jobs, manufacturing jobs, jobs in insurance. We have all sorts of things that you can do here in the state that isn't related to agriculture. When I used to live in Des Moines, I actually worked for a insurance quote unquote company. We actually did the software in between a large company and the uh, insurance company where people would sign up for the benefits. So I did the software in between, but just, on that aspect, one of our clients actually was Facebook. So we get a lot of those big names of tech companies. We got Facebook, Microsoft, Google. We have them all here in the state of Iowa. And a lot of people don't know that. If you're a tech guy or tech girl, we have you covered. And on top of that, we have the manufacturing jobs. My job right out of college was in manufacturing. I helped build SpaceX rockets. I helped build Ford F-150 bodies. I helped build a lot of cool things right here in the state of Iowa. In fact, that manufacturing facility that I worked at was the flagship of the company that I worked at and it made the most amount of stuff for the most amount of people right here in the state of Iowa. So we have a ton of different jobs that aren't related to agriculture. But of course, if you are in agriculture, what an opportunity to live right here, to get paid well, we have great land. So it is an amazing opportunity if you are in agriculture as well. Here in the state of Iowa, our utilities costs are fairly low. 
think we're number two in the United States to have low utilities costs. That includes water, gas, electric. All of your main staples of utilities are on the lower end where the average monthly cost of your two utilities are around $250 on average. I've seen more specifically in the winter. We get cold winters here and we have to pay for the natural gas. Sometimes those natural gas prices do jump up, especially as demand jumps up. So be ready for that. But on average, our utilities costs are much lower than the national average. So that is a great benefit if you're gonna be moving here because you're not gonna be spending a lot of time and money on the energy costs. If you're environmentally conscious, a lot of our power, electrical power, does come from wind farms. If you're driving down the state, you're gonna see wind farm after wind farm after wind farm after wind farm after wind farm. They're everywhere. So we have a lot of power coming from those wind farms because it is windy here in the state. We don't have a lot of trees to stop all that wind. Although those big windmills aren't gonna need trees to stop anyway, but it is a big source of power for us here in the state as well. So if you are environmentally conscious, you know, utilities are going to be low cost and you're going to have it coming from a sustainable source so if that's important to you iowa is a place you want to live one of the things that you're not going to get here in the state of iowa is low taxes we are one of the higher end of taxes here in the state ranking number 10 out of all 50 states so it is something that is need to be considered if you're moving here because our overall tax burden is sitting at about 9.14 percent so it is a little bit higher than a lot of other areas, but overall, our other cost of living items are much lower. So if you're okay with living at a much lower cost of living, taxes may not be that big a deal for you. And these taxes include property taxes, income taxes, gas taxes, I don't know, any kind of taxes you can think of, but that 9.14% is all encompassing of our overall tax burden here in the state of Iowa. So something definitely to consider if you're moving here, because not everything is low cost of living, but most things are. Now, schools. Schools are another thing that you wanna consider if you're moving and thinking about where your money's going. The school systems here in Iowa are changing rapidly. In fact, just at the beginning of this year, our governor has changed the policy on how the schools are funded. She is saying that they're gonna be funding students not the systems that the schools reside in. So what does that mean? From what I can understand is that they're gonna be giving out grants to individual students and the students and their parents can decide where they're gonna go for school. This can be public school. This can also be private school where this money can be funneled to. It's gonna be rolling out over the next three years or so. So it is brand new to us, but if it's important to you, it may be something to look at as a possibility. And on top of that, after elementary and high school, what does our colleges and universities look like? Well, they're fairly affordable in the grand scheme of universities. I personally went to Iowa State. I just looked up what the cost is right now. It's about $8,000 for tuition right now for in-state students. If you compare that just to our neighbors, just to the north of us in Minnesota, their in-state tuition is about $13,000. So yes, Iowa State, $8,000 seems like a lot, but when you compare it to other locations, other universities, it's really not terrible. And because of that, I experienced this when I was at Iowa State. A lot of out-of-state students come to Iowa State because it's almost, it is a lot of times cheaper for them to pay out-of-state tuition at Iowa State versus in-state tuition wherever they're coming from. So a huge benefit if you're looking at college and moving to the state of Iowa, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than maybe some other universities around. So something really consider if you're moving to the state. Just a side note, another thing about cost of living is the gasoline. Just checked it this morning, gasoline was sitting at about $3.45 per gallon, which you know, a few years ago that was expensive, but it's cheaper than the national average and cheaper than a lot of our neighbors as well. So another thing to note, but people call me all the time about details like this and if you have any questions about those sorts of details, give me a call. My number is popping up down below. I am the one that answers all those phone calls, texts, and emails, so let me know what you need. But if you want to know more about what it's like to actually live in the state of Iowa, well, check out this video right here.